Today, I, I want to really share something about, about how to judge whether a person is right for you. Now, I, I know many of you think about judgment perhaps is wrong, and I, I really don't think that's a, I don't think it's a wrong thing to, to judge people, especially if they're in your life. Uh, so, so some people ask how, uh, you know, ask me, how do you know whether someone is going to abuse you or, or not? And I, I normally share with people things like, you know, you, you can tell by their actions and whether their actions meet their words. And if the act, their actions coincide with their words, then you know that those people are likely to be authentic. Whether they abuse you or not is, is totally different, but at least you know their words are more likely, what they say is more likely to be believable. Now, I remember very clearly, like uh, in my younger days, I used to be attracted to the, the kind of words that people would say. They would tell me how great they were, how fab they were. But today, you know, now that I'm so much older, I'm a bit wiser to that. And it doesn't matter how many photographs they show me of themselves and celebrities and how wonderful they say they are. I, I, I don't like to engage with them instantly. I want to see their actions, how they, how they treat people, how they... Uh, how they follow through in what they're, what, what they're saying from their words. Now, uh, ages ago in, uh, I, I think it's uh, the Bible, there, there's a, a phrase from, if you're a Christian, there's a, uh, uh, um, a phrase, by their fruit you will know them, which is, I think, from Matthew uh, something, in the, the book of Matthew. Uh, uh, 716 for those of you who like to know Bible phrases by their fruit you will know them now that was written in a time when you had a lot of these kind of stage speakers uh, and they would be saying and preaching the word uh, they were called Pharisees and Sadducees and, and so on so they were the religious people of, of the day and as some of you who've read the Bible know you know the Bible is an incredibly um, filled with knowledge of of how to be successful in business and and in relationships and so on and they were obviously speaking and preaching from this and uh, Christ at the time was very angry in in that chapter about the false prophets uh, and so on and he he was essentially talking about you know how when people ask him well how do you know who's a false prophet because the words that are coming out of their mouth seems like fantastic it seems on point and seems what they teach at the time now this is this is there's two aspects and the, the scholars of the, the the time and today even uh, wonder what it means so is it the actual words they're saying was false or was it their actions and i would i would look at both I, I've spent some time, as you know, with people who speak from stage for the last couple of years and they sell their products and so on from stage and they share a story. And there, there were, I would say that there are many people who speak from stage who are not authentic and they're, they're speaking and sharing half-truths. In other words, it sounds good. It sounds brilliant, like... Get out of your comfort zone. That's the, the thing that's going to help you be successful. Think out of the box, speed of implementation, and so on. But they are actually half-truths in terms of having one be successful. So it, it could be that, or it could be by their actions. So, for example, somebody could actually be a really nice per person, but they could be talking rubbish on stage, total rubbish. Or they could be speaking from stage, and this is... This is the, the aspect that I saw that although they were talking about helping people be successful off stage, they were really horrible people and many of them aren't actually successful at all. In fact, they've, they've ripped people off. And I found with, with one organization I was working with that the, the, the owner of that business was actually attacking the, his clients 
And also, you know, there, there are people who, who ask for their money back straight away. You have a 14 day sale or return and wasn't returning their money back. Uh, and then we uncovered, we being a whole bunch of people, uncovered so many inconsistencies in what he was saying about himself. So, so really, I'm, I'm always saying to people, watch their actions. Your, their actions will tell you everything about them. I'll give you some like just normal everyday examples. Uh, for example, if someone's constantly talking about helping people, so in the property world and in the business world, I, I always ask people, why do you want to make all this money? I mean, why not just get a job and be happy, work nine to five, not stress about accounts and working five billion hours to, to, to be whatever successful means? And often they're saying, well, you know, uh, Ben, I want, really want to make an impact on a lot of people or I want to help people in Afghanistan or I want to help animals do X, Y, Z because, you know, they're, they're really abused or, or malnourished or whatever it is. So my next question I ask, I ask them normally is what are you doing now? And yes, it, it kind of goes silent because they say, well, you know, I need to have the money before I, I, I do anything. Now, when I first had my, my, my first job ever, which uh, it wasn't much, I think I was earning five or six grand, 10% of my money went to helping um, children who, who weren't educated highly. So it was, to, it was spent on helping to get them educated and, and they would write to me and so on. And this is through a company called Tear Fund, which I've never stopped supporting today. And over time, it grew to different areas of helping children. Now, right from the beginning, is my point is that I was helping children, whether I had money or not. And that's what I look for. If people say, you know, I, I, I want money to do this and this and this, I'm thinking, okay, let me see what you're doing in order to, if you like, um, if that's what you really want to do, help children, what, what are you doing right now to help them? And that again is looking to see whether their words are matching their actions because here, here's the thing, it doesn't suddenly work like this, I make tons of money and now I'm going to go and help children. And it just never does. It normally happens because, oh, I need more money to do X, Y, Z with the children I'm working with right now. The second thing is you wouldn't have had the habit created of helping children if that was your goal or helping abused women or whatever the, the goal was um, in your life if, if you weren't already doing it today right now. So, so those are uh, 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 just a few of the stories. There was a, there's a guy I went to school with actually. He's, he's always asking me to invest with him. He'd send me a new product, project and, and, and say, hey, Ben, will you invest in this? And, you know, the first time he did this, I, I, I didn't invest with him, but I did think about it. And then he did it a second and a third and a fourth time. And I was thinking, you know, I don't think you're really like successful at, at things and, and it feels like you're ripping people off. And again, that was watching somebody over time and their actions. And, and true enough, uh, just a, a couple of weeks ago, um, somebody sent me a message asking what I was doing with, with this friend and, and apparently <laughs> she dated him and, was, and told me all about all the scams that he'd been involved in. So again, watching people with their actions. I know I could just tell you right at the beginning, look, if you want to, to know whether these people should be in your life, watch their actions. But it's, it gets, sometimes it goes deeper than that. And uh, for example, they, they may seem nice people, but their posts in social media tells you a lot about them. It really does. And they might not say like horrible things to, to, to people, but it might all be uh, about uh, them and, and their broken life, for example, which again, you know, they might be saying, I'm using my broken life to help X, Y, Z in the world. And again, that doesn't, that doesn't work with my head because if they're working with people, why, why do you keep talking about your broken life or your broken past? It just, it, it, it's not something you would do. It, 
uh, like many, many entrepreneurs and, and people who, of all walks of life, successful or not, I, I didn't have a particularly wonderful childhood. And, but you don't see me talking about it all the time. And that's why I'm, I'm here to enable you because I had a terrible uh, childhood. That's not the reason. So again, you, you can see what they're doing and, and, and by their posts, you can have a look at their actions all the time to tell you whether you really want these people in your life. Yes, I know. And remember, your time is the most important thing that you could ever, ever have, more than money itself. If somebody ripped you off, you'd probably not talk to them anymore. So if they ripped you off, not just with your money, but with your time, then like, it's time, it's time for them to go. <laughs> All right, guys, I, I hope you've enjoyed uh, Tuesdays. If you like my Tuesday business story, uh, it's been, as usual, wonderful to see you all out there. And um, if, whoa, whoa. Uh, and uh, if you've enjoyed this broadcast, please do share it with your friends and family. Uh, and do send comments below. How do you know if somebody might be bad for you in your life? What are the signs that you might see? So this is Ben Chai, the Doctor Who of Business, saying, Goodbye.